Hey everyone, what's up? So here's some lithium polymer and lithium ion cells. All of these are rated at 3.7 volt, but their capacity is different. For example, this one is 300 milliampere. This one right here is 2000 milliampere. And this lithium cell is of 2500 milliampere. Now for this cell, we cannot just directly plug this with a 5 volt charger and charge this cell. If we do that, the lithium cell will definitely explode and at that point it will become more like a firecracker. Well, my point is, for charging the lithium polymer or lithium ion cells, we need this small module which are based around this TP4056 lithium ion charging IC. You can buy this module on the internet for a very cheap price. But why buy the module when you can purchase the IC from our UT Source website and make your own lithium polymer charger circuit by watching this video tutorial of ours. For making this lithium polymer charger setup, we need following stuff. TP4056 IC, red and green LED indicator, 1 kilo ohm resistance, a breadboard, a lithium ion or lipo cell with PCM attached, a micro USB breakout board which would be this and a 5 volt charger. The TP4056 is a complete constant current, constant voltage, linear charger for single cell lithium ion battery. Its SOP package and low external component count make the TP4056 ideally suitable for portable applications. Furthermore, the TP46 can work with an USB and wall adapter. Read its datasheet for more info. Also, I am using this LiPo cell on which I have already attached a PCM. A PCM is a battery protection circuit module which protects the circuit from overcharging and over discharging of the lithium battery pack. Check out this generic TP4056 module. Here you can see the 8205A MOSFET IC and DW01 IC which are for protecting the lithium cell from over voltage, over current and short current protection. 8205A is just the MOSFET switch IC. The protection IC is the DW01. Basically this is a PCM setup. Now for my setup, I straight up connected lithium cell with a PCM instead of embedding the DW01 or 8205A IC in the current setup. By the way, you can buy DW01 and TP4056 along with 8205 and other items from our UT source website. Link is in video description. So here's the schematic for this project. My plan is to make this on a breadboard. The pin 1 will be connected with the pin 3 which is ground. There's a 1.1 kilo ohm resistance between pin 2 and pin 3. This resistance is for setting the maximum current. Pin 3 is the ground port. Pin 4 and 8 is the VCC of this IC. Pin 5 is the battery positive port. Our lithium ion cell positive will goes here. We also need to add a 10 UF capacitor between battery and ground. The green LED will get connected on the pin 6 with a 1 kilo ohm resistance in series. The anode of green LED will goes on the VCC and the same will be for the red LED but it will be connected with the pin 7. Here's the breadboard setup. The battery voltage is 3.9 volt. We need to charge it up to the 4.2 volt 
which is the high cut voltage for the lithium ion cells. We just need to plug a 5 volt adapter to this setup for charging. For checking the current consumption, I have used this USB power meter. Right now, the battery charging circuit is drawing 670 milliampere. Now we just need to let this battery charge and the red LED is glowing right now, which is showing that the battery is being charged. Let's wait for a few hours. The green LED has been light up, which means our lithium cell is fully charged. And our battery has been charged without exploding. Great. Now the next level of this project is to make a PCB for this setup, but that is for another time. I hope you guys learn few stuff about this project. If yes, then do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out our UT Source website for buying electronic stuff online like resistance, IC and other discrete electronic stuff. And I'll be back with another video.